The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the features and performance capabilities of Volvo Penta's 435 horsepower D6 engine. We'll begin our tour on the port side of the engine, starting forward with the water strainer. I very much like the thoughtful touch that Volvo Penta added in putting a sight glass on top of the water strainer so that you can see the water flowing through. Just behind, your fuel filter with a primer knob on top. Now this is going to be a secondary filter. The primary will always be attached to the boat. So you've got dual filtration system for clean fuel going into the engine. Your dipstick is red and clearly visible. And notice how the stick itself is rounded so that it doesn't matter which way it goes back into the tube. Just above is an auxiliary stop button. 50 amp circuit breaker. Just behind, a primary and secondary oil filter. Down below is a 115 amp alternator. Now, since we have a dual engine setup in this boat, let's take a look at the starboard side of this engine. There's one engine alternator as standard, and the IPS has the ability to accept an auxiliary alternator for other vessel power requirements. Your EVC module, or electronic vessel control, this will give you complete electronic control over the engine and its components. Just below the EVC, easily accessible air filter. I also want to notice the engine mounts. Not only are they good size, they're also vibration dampening. Fully aft on the D6 is the compressor for the turbocharger. On top of the engine, you have your coolant fill and your oil fill. This large rectangular component to the rear is the aftercooler. It cools air from the turbocharger from roughly 300 degrees to a more usable 110 to 120 degrees. And since cool air is more dense than hot air, your engine burns much more efficiently. These engines are turbocharged as well as supercharged. While the turbo is exhaust driven, the supercharger is belt driven with an electromagnetic clutch. This allows the supercharger to be computer controlled, and this computer decides when to engage and disengage the unit. For example, when the captain firewalls the throttle, the computer sees that more power is called for and engages the supercharger. When the speed settles, the supercharger is disengaged. This is also the only marine diesel engine in this class that we're aware of that utilizes hydraulic valve lifters. What does that mean to you and me as operators? Well, simply put, it means that you never have to adjust the valves, which means that you can avoid the $1,000 to $1,500 charge that your mechanic applies every time he removes the valve cover. We hear the term common rail a lot nowadays, and while this isn't limited only to Volvo Penta, it does mean that your engine will be operating quieter and have a wider opportunity to comply with cleaner emission standards. A double overhead cam means less maintenance, and since there are no push rods, camp followers, or rocker mechanisms, there are significantly fewer moving parts to wear. Volvo Penta uses seawater to cool the oil cooler, after cooler, and fuel cooler. This allows for a much smaller heat exchanger to cool the engine, which in turn means a smaller engine. Therefore, the D6 is able to fit into more of a broad range of engine compartments. But what's most surprising about the D6 is that this engine and its smaller sibling, the D4, are purpose-built for the marine environment. In other words, Volvo Penta didn't take a truck or tractor engine and marinize it. It would be easier, but not their style. That's our brief look at some of the key components. Now let's get underway and see how these engines perform. It would be rather rare to see a single D6 application, so we'll report the performance with twin D6s in this IPS installation. In this case, we have a typical application of a 36-foot boat with a test weight of 29,670 pounds. With this particular combination, we reached a top speed of 32.1 knots at 3,500 RPM. At that speed, we were burning a combined 43 gallons per hour and getting 0.75 nautical miles per gallon. Best cruise came in at 3,000 RPM and 25.2 knots. Now we were burning only 29 gallons per hour combined and getting 0.87 nautical miles per gallon. We had a time to plane of just 6.2 seconds. We accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 7.6 seconds and passed through 30 miles per hour in 13.4 seconds. At the helm, I found smooth responses to the controls with no dead spots in the power curve. Low speed thrust was excellent with the IPS application, and we had an idle speed of 4.3 knots. Volvo Penta doesn't use trolling valves, but instead the IPS 600 has an electronically monitored and controlled slip function to enable the operator to slow the vessel for trolling. So that's our look at the features and performance of the 435 horsepower Volvo Penta D6 engine. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.